but people get really offended if you put the milk in first. So, just to save people slagging us off in the comments, I'm going to put the milk in last. Hello everyone and welcome to an extra video this week because today I'm going to be making American Southern sweet tea. Yes, I've had a couple of requests in the past for me to make this sweet tea. And obviously as a fellow British person, we consume a lot of tea. And I am quite partial to a decent cup of tea. So I'm going to be very critical on this American version. Okay, so I'm getting my recipe from thekitchen.com and it's by Catherine Hill. So if I make this completely wrong, blame her. Do not blame me, it's not my fault. I am going to be half in the recipe though because I don't want that much sweet tea. Mainly because my jug isn't as big as the one that they have. America must make some giant jugs of sweet tea. Okay, so I've got my Panama stove here and the measurements for this are just so strange as well because in the UK we use milliliters and grams and stuff like that. And on this little blog thing, they use cups, quarts and gallons. I don't think we use gallons in the UK. Maybe it's for fuel, but not for like tea. And I have no idea what a quart is. So if I do make this wrong, then it might possibly be my fault. I might not transfer the measurements over correctly. But I do have a little cup jug thing. So it should be fine. It should be okay. Right, so I need to bring four cups of water to a boil in a small saucepan. Because I'm half in the recipe, I'm only going to do two cups. I assume this is a cup, isn't it? It says cup on the handle. It just seems quite small. I'm just going to do what I'm told. So two cups of water. Okay, so I've got my water to a boil, and it says dunk the tea bags a few times in the water to fully hydrate, then leave submerged with the strings hanging over the side of the pot, then after five minutes remove the bags and discard. However, in the UK, when you buy tea, especially at like a supermarket and stuff, unless you're going for twinings, it doesn't really have a string with a little tag on, so you'll usually find your tea bags come like this, and it just looks like that. It's just, it's just a tea bag. It doesn't have anything on it. We're basic here in the UK. We just like our tea, just regular, no strings attached. So they want 12 individual tea bags in this water. Because I'm half now, I'm going to go for six. But I think I'm going to go for seven because I like my tea really strong. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. I already feel very comfortable with this. It's nothing better than a good cup of tea. Okay, so I'll just leave this for five minutes to stew away. I'll put a little lid on just to lock it in. Well, I'll meet you back here in five minutes and we can move on to the next step. Now that's looking pretty good. There's nothing better than the smell of tea. It's great. I want a cup of tea now. Okay, so I need to remove these tea bags. Right, that's done. Okay, so add the sugar and dissolve that in. And if I was to do a full thing, it would be one whole cup of granulated sugar. But obviously I'm half in it, so I need a half cup. It's still a lot of sugar, isn't it? I suppose it's called sweet tea, so if it didn't have any sugar in, then it would just be cold tea, wouldn't it? Oh, that is a lot of sugar. It's gonna be more sugar than tea. Just stir that in until it's dissolved. And don't worry, at the end of this as well, I think I'm going to make a regular British cup of tea, just to compare the two, and also just to show any Americans watching how to make a regular cup of tea. Because you just might not know, and it's very important, it's a, it's a life lesson. In Britain, you're taught at a very young age how to make a good cup of tea. If you ever meet someone in Britain who doesn't know how to make a cup of tea, just be very suspicious of them. Okay, I think that sugar's fully dissolved. Right, I'm take it off the heat now. And this goes into a jug. This jug says not suitable for hot drinks. Will it smash? Well, it says I need to pour the tea base into a pitcher and then I need to top it off with more water. So I need to add three quarts of water to the tea. So I'll do that first, just in case this smashes. What's a quart? Is it like a half a cup or something? A unit of liquid capacity equal to a quarter of a gallon or two pints, equivalent in Britain to approximately one pint. 0.13 liters. So one US liquid quart is four US cups. I'm sorry if that's wrong America, but this is what the internet's telling us. I would need to add three quarts, but I need to add one and a half quarts because I'm half in the recipe. So six cups of water. I think that's right, six cups of water. You can let me know in the comments if any of this is wrong. In fact, I'll add it to the pan and then add it to the jug. Six cups of water is gonna dilute this down so much. It's not even gonna taste like tea anymore. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Transfer it into here. Oh, that looks all right, actually. 
It's a nice colour. So there we have it. This is what iced tea is supposed to look like, I think. I'm sure theirs on the images was a little lighter than mine. Have I made mine too strong? Ugh, can't be too strong. I'm just going to have a little taste from the pan just to see what we're working with so far. That doesn't taste like tea at all. It just tastes like sugar water. This is disappointing at the moment. But anyway, I need to refrigerate this overnight. It is at least four hours, but ideally overnight. So I'll do it overnight. And then tomorrow we'll serve it. And I'm going to serve it the way that they're suggesting it because I assume that's the correct American way to serve sweet tea. And we'll see which one I like the best. See if it can beat a regular British cup of tea. I know it's not going to, but I might be surprised. And my sweet tea is ready. And I'm actually looking forward to it because I've just been for a run. So I feel like I need something refreshing. And I think that this drink is going to be quite refreshing. Okay, to serve sweet tea, apparently it needs to be over ice. And I don't think you can have too much ice. And then you need some lemon as well. Lovely. And some mint. And then we just pour the iced tea over the top. And again, if this isn't how you serve it in America, do not blame me. Blame the website I'm following because I don't know what sweet tea is. It looks nice. It looks really fancy, actually. It's way fancier than a normal cup of tea. Okay, let's have a taste test. It's nice. I actually quite like it. With the mint and the lemon, it's really refreshing, actually. This, is, this isn't too bad. The only thing is, I've just read on the instructions here for serving it, and apparently it says for a stronger sweet tea, I can add the tea and the sugar at the same time, stir, and then let it steep for up to three hours. And I wish I'd done that because I think this would be even better if it was a stronger tea flavor. So I know for next time, but it's, it's still quite nice. Now another serving suggestion, according to this website, is you can make a spiked sweet tea and you can add a shot of your favorite liqueur basically to this mixture. And it recommends bourbon, but that's not my favorite. So I'm gonna go for tequila. And this already tastes kind of like a cocktail. So with alcohol, this, this is just gonna be great. Now let's try that. Um. Oh yeah. It's good with booze. It's really good with booze. I don't think our British cup of tea is good with booze. I've never tried it to be fair. I need to chill out actually, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, and apparently there's another way to serve sweet tea as well, and it's called an Arnold Palmer's, aka Swamp Water, and you mix equal parts lemonade and sweet tea. So I think this will be quite nice as well. America are very fancy when it comes to their tea, aren't they? Alright, let's give this a little taste test. Mmm, that's really good as well. This is a very refreshing beverage. I will give it that. I really just wish I'd made that tea a little bit stronger and then it would be perfect. But not bad, America. You've done it all right. Well done, you. And that's a massive compliment as well from a British person. So you're welcome. I might make that again, you know. Obviously, winter, I don't think you're really going to want to drink that. But in summer, it would make the best drink ever. Like sitting in the sunshine when it eventually is sunny and if it is sunny and drinking a nice sweet tea. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, totally get why they drink it. It's also not too sweet. Like I was expecting it to be really overpowered with sugar. And it does say on the website you can add more sugar if you want to sweeten it further. But I like it just how it is. Just just a little bit stronger of tea, but the sweetness is just perfect. Mmm. Anyway, I'm going to pop the kettle on and I'm going to make you a proper British cup of tea. Okay, so it's really straightforward. I get really excited about making a cup of tea as well. I don't know why. So you just take a regular mug, a regular normal tea bag, Put it in the mug. Now there's a debate in the UK about whether you put milk in tea first or whether you put milk in tea afterwards. And I don't really care which way it is, but people get really offended if you put the milk in first. So just to save people slagging us off in the comments, I'm gonna put the milk in last. So it's just hot water. And also, I like my tea strong, which in the UK you would call it a builder's cup of tea, which is like a strong cup of tea, it's not milky. If you serve a milky cup of tea, some people call it dishwater. And I don't want no dishwater tea. A little splash of milk. And also people say you have to just leave your tea bag to stew and then kind of scoop it out. But you just bash it against the side of the mug. You want to strain all of that tea out to the point where the bag nearly explodes. 
And there we have it, a lovely British cup of tea. Obviously, some people take sugars, some people take sweetener. I'm sweet enough. I've heard that joke a million times working in restaurants and I can't stand it, so people, please stop saying it. But not bad at all. Cheers. Ah, that's good. So good. I think because it's winter basically all the time in the UK, a nice hot cup of tea, it just makes everyone feel warm and just slightly happier. Because it can be quite dull over here. But to settle the debate on who makes tea the best, I'm actually going to Switzerland it and place myself right on the fence. I think I'd much prefer a British hot cup of tea at winter autumn time. And I'd much prefer an American sweet tea in kind of spring and summertime. So they're both very good for very different reasons. I'm just bringing cultures together to Today, aren't I? That does it for this week's extra video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I want to start some drama in the comment section. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer a sweet tea or a regular normal cup of tea? And I know for a fact there's going to be someone who says coffee. I know there is. And then there's also going to be someone who says I don't like either. But regardless, tell us what your thoughts are in the comments below. And I'll see you on Friday for a brand new video. Bye!